this is Lady Boule, and I hope you're having a marvelous day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. I just want to add something to my last video on the Prime Minister of Ethiopia. I did not mean to sound mean-spirited because I don't have an issue with the Ethiopian people or with the man, the Prime Minister. But I just think it's very disingenuous when people get up and start talking about black Americans. And a lot of people do it. And if you don't say anything, it seems like we're weak or we don't care or that they're right. And they're not right. So I did not mean to come across as being harsh, but I did want to get my point across. There were two or three places in that video that maybe I should have edited out of the video. But hindsight is twenty twenty. But I have no ill will toward the Ethiopian people. But if their prime minister is going to get up there and dish it out, He's putting his own people at risk of being ridiculed because nobody plays the dozens better than black Americans. He points one finger out at black Americans and there's another one pointing back at Ethiopians. And I don't think that's what he wants for his people. So he needs to be careful about what he says when he gets before an audience. Or maybe he needs to do like other leaders and get a speechwriter. Somebody who is objective and knows how international diplomacy works. Because what he's doing by getting before audiences and disparaging black Americans is not diplomatic. So I apologize if I came across too harsh. Now for today's inventor. This is somebody that might take you by surprise. But maybe not. But this aspect of black American history, these inventors need to be talked about as often as we can because they're hidden. The world doesn't know about these people and they need to know. So talking about them one month out of the year is not too much. Today we're talking about Otis Boykin and he was a great inventor. Otis Boykin's inventions include a wire precision resistor used in many radios, computers, televisions, and other electronically controlled devices. However, he is best known for his invention of the heart pacemaker. Yes, a black American man invented the pacemaker. Otis Boykin was born in Dallas, Texas in 1920. His parents were Walter and Sarah Boykin. His father was a carpenter and a preacher, and his mother was a housemaid. He graduated valedictorian from Booker T. Washington High School in Dallas in 1938, after which he enrolled at Fisk University. So here we go again, another important black inventor attending an HBCU. Again, I'll repeat myself. An HBCU is not going to stifle their creativity. So sometimes a true inventor can get more done at an HBCU than he or she can at a PWI, which is a predominantly white institution, because there's more competition. And little things that can be done to stifle your creativity might be done there that might not be done at an HBCU. So it's always important for black people to evaluate their children's gifts, their interests, and their personalities before finally deciding with their children where they should attend college. Because even now, black inventors are coming out of HBCUs. As a matter of fact, there's one young lady now who is studying at the University of Alabama in Birmingham who went to Alabama A&M, and she's working on a cure for some type of cancer. And there are others. So don't rule our own people out because they might be their best path to success. The primary purpose of a pacemaker is to maintain an adequate heart rate, either because the heart's natural pacemaker is not fast enough or because there's a block in the heart's electrical conduction system. So a pacemaker is a life-saving device and it has saved millions of lives worldwide. Now, if you Google pacemaker, You'll have a long article. They'll tell you the, the purpose of the pacemaker, what it does, how it works. And they'll have all these white people's names attached to it. That they, not that they invented it, but that they did a study making it look like they invented it. 
but you'll see everybody's name but Otis Boykin's. And that is what we mean when we say intellectual property theft. Other people are trying to take credit for it. He invented the only pacemaker that worked. So who invented the pacemaker? The one who invented the pacemaker that worked. Everything else is irrelevant. But how do you know who actually invented the pacemaker? Who got the patent for it? Otis Boykin had the patent for it. That's how you know who actually invented it. And I know that my viewers are smart. And I knew that you would want me to go and get that patent number to prove what I'm saying is true. And this is Otis Boykin's patent number for the heart pacemaker. It's number 2,634,352. So this is the proof of his invention. And that is why they say these online encyclopedias can be incorrect because people can go and write in anything about anything. You can go back and edit these online encyclopedias. So what you have to do is find out who got the patent for it. That's who invented it. Otis Boykin had 26 patents. That means 26 inventions, including an electrical device that was used in guiding missiles. So the military used this invention. And there are other black inventors who did other kinds of devices that they used in the military. Otis Boykin is responsible for inventing an electric resistor that is used in all guided missiles, computers, radios, TV sets, and a variety of electronic devices. His resistor helped reduce the cost of those products because when those products first come out, they're usually really expensive. But when somebody like Otis Boykin gets a hold to the product, they figure out a way to make it operate more efficiently and that reduces the cost. So black inventors have been very important to the industrial and the technological development of the United States. It's just that again, their property is either stolen or is hidden. So Black History Month, we can uncover some of this stuff, but I guarantee you we will never be able to uncover all of it. But for the ones that we do know about, we celebrate. Otis Boykin died on March 26, 1982 at the age of 61. I do not believe that he ever married or had children. But he provided a great service to mankind around the world. And we celebrate him this Black History Month. Otis Boykin was a great inventor who invented many important devices, including the pacemaker. So run and tell that. Thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.